Now, tonight on Talk of the Nation, we delve into a topic that has been subjected to debate as the world starts uh, to adopt the use of artificial intelligence, also known as AI, which is viewed as a way of easing the work, uh, the way most work is handled in spheres of life. Now, this level of disruption has also caused a lot of concern, particularly among those who are worried about its possible negative effects. So, we sought the view of someone who has studied the matter and has published a book titled From Chalk to Chatboards, and that is Dr. Lawrence Muganga, the Vice Chancellor of Victoria University. Good evening, sir, and welcome to Talk of the Nation. Good evening, Dred. Good evening, uh, NTV viewers uh, this evening. It's a pleasure to be here. Always a honor to have you. Now, before we get into tonight's uh, discussion, here is a clip of a uh, video of my colleague Priscilla Naroga that was created by AI. Now, note that this is a poor imitation of her actual representation. Let's have a look at it. Gundans are getting rich online thanks to a unique mobile app. The amazing story of a young man from Gulu who faced financial difficulties due to a low paying job but was able to change his life thanks to this app. His success became the talk of the whole country. Now everyone is downloading the app and joining the game. Every 15 minutes there is a chance to win a big prize. The people of Uganda can turn their lives around, gain luxury and travel by playing this app. Don't miss your chance for a change and start playing now. Doctor, I hope you've taken note of that video. We shall be getting to it uh, shortly. But uh, let us start with uh, understanding what artificial intelligence is, mm. you know, for purposes of you know, uh, the, the benefit of the viewer and also to guide our conversation tonight. Yeah. So I was in uh, general terms, in our own understanding, uh, it is when computers, machines, start to learn, to think, and communicate. Mm. As simple as, like, we people. So that's where they are. In other words, they're imitate, are they imitating us? No, they have been uh, now modeled. There are different models that have been created to learn, to think, and communicate. If you remember where we are coming from as human beings, uh, I think we... For the last, o over the last 3,000 years, we've been the dominating kind of force when it comes to intelligence, thinking, True. learning, and communicating. Over the last 3,000 years, right? Mm. But computers have been here for slightly above eight years. Mm. But you can now see the amount of intelligence that is really emerging out of the computing world. So, so that is what they, they're trying to do. Now they can learn. They can think of what they, are, they have been learning, and then they are communicating. So in other words, we can have them as uh, partners. We can work together. We can think together. We mm -hmm. can communicate together. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do some work together. Okay. So it's very amazing. Okay. It's some revolution that has come to make us more productive. Okay. I know some people can be worried. Okay, when it comes to if it is so productive, do I still have a job? Okay, that's a very, that's yes, a very big uh, and that's a very, a very dangerous mindset for one to have because technology is not going to go anywhere. So, for you to choose to remain on the confines, then it, it will not replace you. But those who have embraced artificial intelligence will replace you because they know how to use it, they know how to make it work for them. So we rather delve, just dive into this, mm. learn these things, they're not so t hard. Well, uh, speaking, speaking of uh, learning how to use artificial intelligence, mm. uh, you've just watched that clip of my colleague. Mm. Uh, isn't this concerning? Because whatever was in that clip was not what not she Priscilla. Act yes, it was not Priscilla. And so you realize that artificial intelligence can be Mani can be used to manipulate. No, uh, can be. Uh, I can, they can get an image, say for Priscilla, correct. and make her say things that she's not intended now to say. And you know so you, that Mildred, also comes with a price. Mildred, that that of course depends on which school of, uh, school of thought you're coming from. Mm -hmm. If you if you're a businessman, and you are in business, uh, you are NTV, and you are in business. So what do you do? You actually invest in more research to now get a cloned. Priscilla Naroga, who can actually pre do all your presentations that you want without actually having her do the things. Because that's where we are going. You save money 
uh, you reduce a few risks here and there. Why? This uh, digital Priscilla will never fall sick, <laughs> will never have an excuse of not to come to work, okay? Mm. Will never say I need more salary, an increment. Will, you will never pay them a salary. So, so a businessman is making more money. So where does this leave the original Priscilla? Now the original Priscilla now, that's when I said you need to embrace this technology. Because and clearly uh, yes. the employer or the person that is you know, taking up this technology is going to look at all these other benefits that come with having the you know, digital Because the businessman is, is all about making money, right? So now us, we also need mm. to really be smarter mm. with the human beings. So the, now Priscilla would be in a position to learn so much prompt engineering. You don't need to have studied IT, computer science or anything to learn this. These are skills, like normal skills you and I can have to communicate. Then you can actually use AI to impress the management of NTV to actually be the right person to stay there because you can manage, instruct and drive the implementation of AI in this company. And, and, and do you think that is uh, a, harm, a harmony that can actually come to light, AI and humanity? Because uh, by the look of things, it, it, it's, it's here to wipe out humanity. No, uh, on the contrary, that is not true. Uh, so of course, there is, uh, we are still talking about narrow artificial intelligence. There is also AGI, what we call AGI, artificial general inter, uh, intelligence. That one is coming to a point where it is even gaining some conscience, like uh, being aware. So it is thinking, it is learning, it is like us. Okay. So that as well, it has a place in this society. Because even if, let's say, for us as a country, Uganda, we have said, you know what, let's stay with our coffee, let's stay with our tea and beans and everything. We are not going the technology path. America will not really follow us. China will not. Singapore will not. Saudi Arabia will not. So eventually, we will be the dwarfs in the world economy. So now look at the situation right now. Uh, the digital economy, the market cap for the digital economy is closer to 17 trillions, okay? And we look at other economies that we participate in. F so for example, the coffee market cap is about around 500 uh, billions. Mm. And then we are putting much energy in that. So why can't we actually invest in training our people to be tech survey enough, not all of them, but ma most of them, we have, we are so blessed, we have a young population, okay. almost 78 percent. No country has that uh, kind of wealth, I call that wealth. Mm. So we can convert that human capital into the magic that this world needs okay. and then we start exporting them without even leaving our country but they can do everything remotely in our own country so then we we gather we start benefiting from that uh, market cap of 17 trillion okay. we become so productive as a country we can't start thinking of uh, being pushed aside eliminated now yes there are dangers that come with technology mm -hmm. but uh, uh, if we feared to move in a car knowing that it can end up in an accident, then we wouldn't be moving anyway. Absolutely. So, but th that's why governments are there. Parliament is there. We can regulate mm. the use, okay, mm. such that people don't abuse the technology. But we cannot afford to frustrate the technology. Okay. We need it. We just have to come up with the policies that encourage all higher education institutions mm. to make sure that technology mm. is part and parcel of what a student gains on a daily basis when they come to school. And that we have done at Victoria. Yes, speaking on, uh, speaking about uh, the education institutions taking up AI, uh, mm. now this technology is something that is cutting across different spheres, mm. education being one of them. And like you've said, at Victoria University is something that you're looking to take up. Uh, you'll inform us, oh, you've already not taken looking, it up. Not looking to take up. Yes. Because are we, are, we, are, we have understood, you've that understood without it. technology, you are not an education institution. Why are you keen to have these AI programs at the university? Because we want, uh, it is as simple as understanding that where the world is today, uh, if you are not conversant with the latest emerging technology, mm. then you cannot apply yourself anywhere in the world. You are always going to be left behind. So while they are looking for someone who is digitally competent, for you, you are still running around one day and everything looking for people to type for you the CV and an application. That we reject at Victoria University. We want people who can work anywhere in the world. 
they can actually be tapped by Apple from the States and they are working from here. They can be tapped by Amazon, wherever they are, and they are working from here. They can be asked by anyone. That's the graduate we need at Victoria University. And by the way, uh, we still have uh, an open intake. They can come in and pursue meaningful education. Mm. So they don't have to shy away from AI. So how, 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 how then are you integrating uh, the AI programs into the current curriculum? So, so what we did is simple. Mm. You begin with the basics. You have to make sure that uh, every student who comes to Victoria University, first of all, mm. they are, uh, instead of coming with a pen, a book, and a bag, or a backpack, they have a laptop, or they have uh, a, a, com a computer mm. somewhere, mm. or they have a tablet, or even a very good smartphone. Mm. Because every learning that is going to happen at Victoria University is going to be digitized. From the learning, from the coursework, to the exam, to the results, mm. everything you're going to do, you're going to do it digital. So now, now you embed in AI modules. And such that people have this knowledge. It is very important to today to learn how to prompt AI, such that you get what you want. We don't, someone will argue that, oh, but students are going to be uh, using it to cheat, to copy, and exactly. everything. Pl pl plagiarism. But, plagiarism. Very good, but why are you, for example, if you are uh, a teacher, mm. why are you asking a student to tell you how many national game parks Uganda has? They are known, because if, when they Google, when they use AI, they are getting them. But if you ask the question, Uganda has 10 national game parks. Mm. How can Uganda make them 20? Mm. So that question is not anywhere. Yes. So if AI gives you something, then you are discussing with AI. Well, Doctor, I'm afraid our time has been fast spent, but what uh, will be your closing remarks in regards to the book From Chalk to Chatbots yes. and also in regards to AI? So I have been, uh, of course, uh, we have a gap, much as we talk uh, about artificial intelligence. So there is not so much has been written about it in the Ugandan context or the East African or even in Africa. So this book you are referring to From Chalk to Chatbots, uh, Discovering Authentic Education with Artificial Intelligence. Uh, it is just now bringing education and artificial intelligence to meet in that intersection such that they can understand each other, such that institutions can know how to use, how to em embrace AI. Okay. So we are demystifying AI for everyone, a young person, a parent, that student, a teacher, a policy maker, and anyone who is curious about the future. Okay. That is the book. All right. And I'm glad it has been received before I, we even launch it in May. All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Lawrence Muganga, the Vice Chancellor of Victoria University. And also, he has shared a lot about AI. And believe you me, there is a lot that you also still need to learn in regards to AI. Well, that conversation takes us in for a short break, but NTV Weekend Edition continues shortly.